Ladies and gentlemen, in the next four minutes, I want to go over real quick a gun training demo that I've been trying to get through for the last three or four weeks. I'm going to talk to you about the pros and cons to different types of concealed and carry open holsters. And Paul, if you can get that camera on me, because we're going to definitely want to get this on video. I'm going to do this on radio, but you're going to go to the KTM website and go to the, uh, I'm sorry, KTM uh, YouTube channel and check this out. Probably be up by Monday or so. But what we're doing here is there's different types of holsters in different places you can carry. Let's talk about this real fast. If you've got a license to carry and you're a woman, or a guy, if you got a purse, a man purse, or you got a purse for a woman, I want you to think about this. I'm not totally into that because the purse is a detachable item from you. If your weapon is in your purse and for some reason you're not paying attention and somebody steals your purse or your purse <laughs> or your purse, what are you going to do? You don't have a weapon on you anymore. They have your weapon. So when it comes to purses or purses, I'm not into that place for carrying your weapon. In your waistband. I think that's one of the best places to have a weapon. Paul, do you have a headset? Because I'm going to probably be standing up here in a second. If you've got a headset and I can talk with a mic, that'd be even better. But if you have it in your waistband, can I use that? It's got a mic. I need a microphone. I Never mind. We'll just do it this way. If you have it in your waistband, what's nice about this, everybody, I'm standing up here. If the voice goes a little bit, that's because I'm moving around here. But if you look in the video, if the weapon is in your waistband, what's nice about that is, as it comes out, I immediately get a second hand on the weapon and it comes straight out to the target. Straight out to the target. It's the most secured area. I've got total protection on it. I can conceal it. But when it comes out, the hand comes out and it's directly on the target. The second best place is outside on your waist, right here. Because when it comes out, it's in a straight line with the target. As soon as it comes past my body, my hand acquires the grip, the second hand on the gun, and I go directly to the target. If I put the weapon behind me, there's two different ways I can put the weapon behind me. If I'm holding the gun in my hand, and as I put the weapon in the holster on my back, and my knuckles go across my back to put the gun in the holster. The problem is, when the gun comes out for draw, as I come out, if you're watching the video, you're going to notice the muzzle of the gun is sweeping my body. I'm going to shoot myself, potentially, okay? But it comes out, and I come on a target. If I have that gun in my hand, and I turn the weapon where the palm of my hand goes against my back and the gun goes in the holster, now what happens is, as the gun comes out of the holster, I have a slight arc happening and I'm sweeping people outside the line of my direct line of fire. So as it comes out, see how it sweeps? We don't want to do that. We want guns straight on line. Guns straight on line. This one here, if I'm, my knuckles to my back, it sweeps my body. If my palm is to my back, it sweeps other people. Now, let's talk about the shoulder rig. If I've got a shoulder rig, shoulder rigs have their application, okay? But we must remember this. When you're using a shoulder rig and the weapon comes out, there's a slight arc once again. I'm sweeping everything until I get to the target. And here's the other problem when it comes to shoulder rigs or any type of holstering system that causes me to arc the gun. If my threat is at my 12 o'clock position straight ahead of me, when I'm sweeping the weapon... I have to make the shot. I got one crack at taking the shot at the 12 o'clock position. Because if I'm not that good, I may shoot before the 12 o'clock position, or I may oversweep and pass the 12 o'clock position. And so I've only got one crack on that arcing swing to hit the shot. As compared to if the weapon's in my belly, it comes straight on the line. I'm at 12 o'clock. If it's in my hip, straight on line at 12 o'clock. If it comes from my back, I'm sweeping. I've got one crack at it. If it's a shoulder rig, I've got one crack at it. Okay? Can you see all that? Ankle holsters, they have their applications, but they're not meant for quick draw. That's where, like, I see what's going down. I've got it with me. It's about the only place I can carry it. I've got no issues with an ankle holster other than you've got to understand its application. Around the neck or on your bra, I make special holsters for the North American Arms mini revolvers. I make the Chester and I make the Buster. The Chester is great for a guy because it hangs around his neck. The buster's great for a woman because they have bras and we have a special clip that goes on the bra and you can't seal it. I call the North American Arms Mini Revolvers the pocket knife of the gun world. They're always going to be on you. Those guns get you to your bigger gun. Your bigger gun gets you to your rifle.